As a young man, I traveled the world as a photographer for a humanitarian organization. And as a byproduct, I was able to see some of the wonders of the world, but nothing captured my attention like the Colorado River that was practically in my own backyard. I was lucky enough to meet a girl that loved the river as much as I did. We began to explore. It's pretty simple. It snows on the west side of the Rocky Mountains. The snow melts. The water flows through streams and rivers and eventually make their way to reservoirs here in the southwest. Here the red line shows the great continental divide, which the Rocky Mountains in Colorado are spectacular evidence of the divide of east and west. While the sometimes very heavy monsoon rains come and create flash floods, they do help fill up the lake, but they don't last long. Sometimes 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and then they only come two months a year. So they're nothing compared to the snowpack in the Rocky Mountains. Well, there are many rivers and dams along the collection system of the main stem of the upper and lower basins. There are four main dams and storage lakes, all of which border Arizona. Lake Powell is a collection point for four main rivers. There's the Green River, the Colorado River, the Escalante, and the San Juan, all flowing into Lake Powell. Astronauts in space have described Lake Powell as looking like a lightning bolt. The water then flows about 300 miles through the Grand Canyon to Lake Mead. Lake Mead has the largest capacity of any man-made reservoir in the U.S. at over 28 million acre feet. However, it's only at about 35 percent capacity today. And there are two other reservoirs downstream, Lake Mojave and Lake Havasu.
Here we have the last dam in the chain. It's Parker Dam, which backs up Lake Havasu. Parker Dam's actually the deepest dam in the world, although most of it is not visible. The next dam upstream is Davis Dam, which backs up Lake Mojave. The next dam upstream is Hoover Dam near Las Vegas, and that backs up Lake Mead. The very first dam along the chain is Glen Canyon Dam, and that backs up Lake Powell.